Good morning, babes. <clears throat> it's Curly Lisa Victoria. I'm back with yet another video. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So in this video, I woke up this morning not feeling well, but I wanted to get some content out there because I feel like over the last few days, I've only made one video. Um, um, Y'all, it's taking everything out of me not to get back in the bed. I feel like total crap. However, I'm going to propel myself through a productive day. Um, I've already willed to do it, so that's what we're about to do. I want to get some cleaning done, so I've already kind of started some clearing things off in the bathroom. Let me show y'all. So I've already begun wiping down some stuff and clearing off the counter. I will clean the toilet. I'm going to end up cleaning the shower as well um, and sweeping and mopping in here. So... We're really mopping because it doesn't need to be swept. I've already swept. Um, so that's what I'm about to do. I'm going to prop the camera up and let you guys see me just like kind of get some work done. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm out of the shower. I um, My face is wet because I just did a face wash routine and I like to let my face air dry before I go ahead and lock, them, lock in my moisture and my serum. However, um, as you guys can see, I still have to mop. So I'm gonna show y'all. I still have to mop, um, but I'm about to go get some more cleaning solution to add to that bucket so that I could smell extra clean in here. You guys can see my shower curtain is high water. I've said this several times. I don't know if I wanna return the I don't know if I want to return this one or keep it but y'all know I've had my shower curtain for a long time so I have bought another one that looks exactly like it because it's a good shower curtain except I don't think that shower curtain naturally comes that short I think over time putting it in the dryer it became high water and I know you're not supposed to uh, put it in the dryer because I've just reread these instructions I guess when I bought the first one, I probably didn't read it all the way through, other than it was cotton. So I guess now that I've read this one and it says that you shouldn't uh, put it in the dryer, I'll probably proceed that way when I use this one if I open it. But this is, you know, um, a shower lot, a shower curtain, and I don't think that it's a bad idea to actually put that one up there because the one that's on there is probably like a year old, if not a little bit older. I want to say about a year maybe almost a year and then I bought another liner so I think I am I know I'm gonna keep the liner to trade out but it was just do I want to just stick with the old shower curtain because I frequently wash it or do I want to get a new shower uh, curtain oh no sir no sir you're still gonna be sitting there because he's doing stuff he ain't supposed to do he upset um but yeah y'all so now I'm about to the kitchen is already pretty much clean all of these dishes here have already been done they just have to be put away they're just washed and they're they just need to get put up and then like I said it's already pretty clean in here um, I didn't really all I did today was wipe down the counters everything else was washed last night and just has to be put away and then down here I'm gonna go ahead and move the rug because I do want to give it a nice little mop I know it doesn't need it but maintenance some areas in my house don't necessarily need to be cleaned, but I consider it like my maintenance as a part of my cleaning routine. So I'm about to throw on some clothes, um, grab the Fabuloso, and I'll see y'all once I get on some clothes. I'm still in my towel, so I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, hey babe, so I am literally sitting right here. I just got an um, email notification from the talent agency that I'm a part of. I've been with them for like years um, and I've just been looking more so of like getting bookings and stuff like that because it's been I've done a few during the years but I'm actually replying back right now they need and mind you there's a lot of people a part of this agency so um, there's times where you can submit for a job and you don't even get it um, which happens often what did it ask it, it's a basically a quick turnaround they need submissions by the end of the day because it's it's like literally in two days call times models please come here and make up ready bring a selection of jersey casual attire to choose from oh no i don't want to do this
Oh no, this might be fun. Roles. You will be a home. You will be homeowner shopping for a new home, working with a realtor. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this because I am a realtor. I don't know if I would do this because I'm not too sure like is this for a commercial or I think I'm gonna call because I'm not trying to be an I'm not trying to be a realtor but then also be promoting someone else's real estate brand if that makes any sense now if it's just like a commercial type of thing then yeah you know but I'm gonna try to call them I'm going to call them instead of just submitting for it. Yeah, I'm going to call and just get some details. Hi, you've reached Keith Schwabinger. Please leave me a message at the time. Thank you. I'm sorry, I can't take a message because this mailbox is full. If you need further assistance, enter town now. Thank you, and goodbye. Hello, voice messaging system. Enter the extension you are calling at any time. If you don't know the extension, enter 411 for a directory. Otherwise, please answer the following questions and I'll make sure your message gets attention. Hello, voice messaging system. Enter the extension you are calling. Okay, y'all, so I literally was just laying down. I'm about to do, I think I'm about to put my dresser back in my closet. I've been moving furniture around for the last like couple of weeks, but every way in which I've been moving furniture, I have moved furniture probably somewhat in this same position throughout time. Um, so right now I'm looking, I was looking on Amazon, my phone just died. And I don't want to start, I don't think that my Amazon account is open on my other phone. So I'm just going to charge the phone that just died so that I can get back to my cart. But I'm ordering some shelves off of Amazon that appear to be easy to assemble. Um, I think that I can get probably like 12 pair of shoes on this shelf. Right now it looks like they're on sale for like 20 something dollars. So I think I'm gonna order like at least four shelves. I It tells me what the inches are, like what they measure, but it doesn't tell me the height. So I'm, I'm a little skeptical. I wanted to order five, but I'm a little skeptical because I feel like what if I have an extra I mean, obviously, I can put it somewhere else around the house if I have extra. But what my goal was was to build the shelf all the way up to the wall. Now, I was going to go. I was thinking because I hadn't found what I was looking for online. And I've seen, like, wall shelves. And I've seen, like, um, bookshelves. And nothing's really suiting the narrowness of the shelf that was in my mind. So I decided that uh, I would continue to keep looking on Amazon. And I found these shelves that were, like, you know, like, once you put your shoes in there is not that much room above your shoe that's what i wanted because it gives a more sleeker look opposed to doing like cubby cubes where it shows like extra room like i don't mind having like cubbies that show extra room only if it's going to house like my bags and my shoes and it's going to be a display type of factor but when i'm trying to build a shelf for my shoes i just want it to literally look like a shoe shelf so I think that these are going to satisfy these shelves that I'm talking about. I think they're going to satisfy what I'm looking for. It's almost like as much as you guys hear me say I'm cleaning up and it might look, you know, look a mess or what it might look a mess or whatever. I literally be having anxiety when it comes down to the disorganization of like my house or just things like 
I get to a place where I feel literally anxious when my space isn't clean and I know a lot of times it might come off that it's not clean and that's simply because your girl a lot of times um moves things around so many times that it can always look like is your house ever in order right now and the answer is like no because i feel like there's so many things that i need to i have a lot of furniture pieces right i have a small space lots of furniture pieces lots of seating and the the whole time it'd be me i don't got no kids i don't got you know what i mean it'd be me but it's just like i like certain looks and things like that so my house I'm trying to get my earring unwrapped my house looks very much so like if I had to move, the biggest issue would be furniture, which isn't even an issue, but I'm just saying that's what would take all the time is my furniture. However, the pieces that I have, I've kept for so long because they're statement pieces, they're staples. So I don't want to just be getting rid of my statement slash staple pieces of furniture, et cetera, et cetera. Bricks is so sick of hearing me talk. Like, just look at how he, look at how he passed out. No, 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 no. Oh, he looking now because I got the thing. Um, somebody commented on my Instagram or whatever, or on um, Brooks' page and was like, um, I hope you don't keep him in the cage all day because da 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 And I'm just like, first of all, he's not in a confined crate. Right now he is enclosed in an area. And if I feel as though I have to clean up and I know he's going to get into something, whether I have my cleaning products out or I have things sitting out that I haven't put away, then yes, I'm going to enclose the space until he gets to a place where he knows not to rummage through things or get into things. He's a puppy. So as big, even though he's starting to look bigger, there's still certain things he's going to do because he is curious as a puppy. Now, I do also let him out. So like say I'm cleaning this room and I know this has nothing to do with the whole, say I'm cleaning this room, right? I'm in this room, so I'm able to keep my eyes on him. I'll let him lay like right here on his bed, right? And I'll leave it out. I won't even enclose the area because I'm right here and I'm cleaning. So if he gets off of this, I tell him, no, 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 no. I take those moments to be his training opportunities, right? But it's just a simple fact that they were like, you keep him in the crib please please get off my page because in the end of the day mr bricks goes a lot of places with me and mr bricks spends a lot of time out here in the common area it's just like i said even now like i have him enclosed over here but he's enclosed over there why because i've been in the other room doing things and we all know we as in bricks and i both know that um if i step away to the other room for too long i'm gonna come back something gonna get tore up the bed the puppy pad he gonna be on some piece of furniture he gonna be trying to rip over and open a trash bag so that's why i have to keep him the way i have to keep him when i'm working on stuff um but that's why i'm trying to get my house more like how people had their house more child proof i'm trying to have my house more dog proof because i feel like there's a lot of things there's glass he already broke one of my uh flowers like you know in the pot the flower pot broke and I have a lot of things in here that are um, able to be broken. Um, I know as much as it seems like glass does make me, <laughs> glass can literally get your get your anxiety anxiousness going because it's so easy to break. And I know when my equilibrium was off or I'm just feeling off, um, um, it's easy for me to just maybe get clumsy. Like when that time of the month come, my equilibrium be so off that I'd be nearly knocking stuff down. So, um, I get it, I get it, I get it. But sometimes he get the zoomies, which is basically when a dog just be running back and forth like something to happen. And he'll get the zoomies and then <laughs> been a knocked over something. And I'll be like, by then it's already broken or, or it's already knocked over or whatever. So yeah, I'm trying to get my, my house more uh, dog proof. So when I get these shelves, I'm super excited about getting these shelves in the first place. Let's Let's say that. When I get these shelves, I'm going to put them against my wall. Now, I had a vision at one point that I wanted to cover my entire wall with these shelves that I'm telling you guys about and just have nothing but shoes. And I'm thinking that I might be able to accomplish that. I don't know, though. I don't know, though, because my bed would have to come up. I don't know because right now it's like my room wall is like you know I just have it like I got my shoe shelf I got my bed all that 
and then right now I'm thinking that this would be where I have my computer I would move this desk and this would be the wall that I'm going to use to put all the shoes up but then I'm just like I don't know because I got a lot of shoes and I got shoes in the closet too and I have racks in the closet shoe racks but I'm just like I definitely think I'm going to bring especially like my high heels out here. Um, my bags. I don't know. I don't know. I got to see how I'm going to be able to work that. But. I definitely feel as though. I need those wall shelves. And, I, and the good thing. No bricks. No. The good thing I like about the shelves that I've seen. It's even if, say one day I move, say I end up leaving and moving somewhere else, they're sleek enough and nice enough to carry with me. And that's why a lot of pieces in my house, they are statement pieces by themselves. I can take this to the next place in which I move. I can keep it for years. I feel like personally, that's how you should furniture shop. That's how you should clothes shop. You should always shop with a spirit of, I got statement pieces to where I can bring them with me no matter where I move or no matter where I go I'm going to be able to create a vibe whether it's the same vibe or it's a different vibe I could take those same statement pieces and maybe you might say okay I'm at a place where I want to change out my dresser or maybe I want to change out my bed okay then that's cool but as far as your statement pieces like chairs and ottomans and things like that you might be able to carry with you if you know how to like that will be fashion it up and I know I know how to put a look together so that's why a lot of times I can literally rearrange my house and it's like I'm rearranging it yet all of these pieces I've had and I over time I could just add like one little staple piece or maybe I can get a diffuser or a candle that's just going to look better in the house so I don't know that dresser back there though I'm about to put that in my closet. There's a mirror that goes on top. I've already laid it across my bed. So I'm going to get back on my Amazon. Because I want to place that order like today. Because I want it to get here tomorrow. Um, because it's like it's nothing like when you're trying to actively clean up. And do what you're trying to do now. And you don't have it. It's not like I can just go get it. You know. So I think I'm going to order that tonight. Or right now. Let me jump back on Amazon. Hopefully it still has my account up. It does. I also want to get another comforter set. Um, it's not an emergency. I definitely, uh, it's not an emergency that I get one. I just feel like certain things like my comforter, my sheets, my uh, shower curtain, over time I like to get new ones. You know what I mean? After having it, don't you chew that pad up. Potty on the pad. Um, after so long, I like to get new ones because I feel as though I don't want, um, I just feel like sanitation, you know, San sanitation and maintenance. And honestly, I was going to go look in stores, but I'm just like, let me just look on Amazon because sometimes Amazon just comes through. Oh, that's cute. I feel like if you spill something on his bed, it's over. Oh, it's reversible. I like the way these sheets look, but I don't like the colors. Dang, now if these were neutral, that would be a vibe. Basically, I'm on Amazon right now, y'all. So I'm trying to hold myself accountable and actually uh, do this because I walk away and sometimes it's like, girl, you still got that stuff sitting in your cart and then be upset because I never even hit by now see I have this like the comforter that they're showing on here I already have dang they charging 140 for that I used to have that I mean I have that comforter now but I did not pay 140 see that's why sometimes it's better to go to in the stores for certain deals not that you could just go walk into an Amazon but I'm saying <clears throat> you better quit it Bricks, stop. That's not for you to chew up. Find you something safe to do. Because that's not it. You're trying to chew the um, latches of the crate. No. Because you chew them off then with how I'm going to lock it when I leave. You got all them toys right there. You got your food, your water, your pad, and I'm sitting right next to you. What's the deal, boo-boo?
What's the attitude for? <laughs> Child, he do not like when I be saying, don't do this, don't do that. I told him one day he'll understand that it's for his interest. Go get you something to eat, boo-boo. I'm about to cook me some, well, I'm about to make me some noodles and add some vegan sausage to it. It's about to slap because I already know I'm about to season it up. Um, I just haven't been feeling the best today, but like I told you guys, I'm still trying to vlog. Like, I haven't gone anywhere. I took a shower and I haven't gone anywhere. Like, when I tell you, nowhere. I'm just trying to pick myself up a little bit, even though I know I feel like crap. Oh, I love this luxury bed set. Oh, wow. You got to know how to really work this, though. Because if you don't know how to work this bed set, it's going to give... It's going to definitely give old-fashioned. Look at that. So cute. Yeah, you got to know how to work it. Mm -mm, it's giving cheap, though, as I'm looking closer to the... I really like that though. It's definitely giving lux. It's giving lux. I just don't like. Is that like gold gold or is it yellow gold? Mm -mm. It's giving lux from the video, but not lux from like what people purchased. I'd be watching the reviews, looking at the reviews, and it's not giving in that review. It's giving cheap. Not doing it. Um, I'm also going to be getting rid of like. I put my pillows aside because I'm going to be getting rid of like a lot of my pillows and stuff like that I just I don't know I feel like when it comes down to I have to have a clean look a clean vibe a clean everything otherwise I'm going to feel stressed out I mean it just is what it is I really do like this uh, it's like this beige kind of bed set I don't think y'all could see it but I really do like this it's giving luxury, tan luxury. But you guys know I love me a white comforter set. Um, and then it's summertime. Oh, this looks pretty legit. Somebody's doing a video of it. It looks pretty legit. Like I just feel like because I have gray floors to make it brighter. White opens up. Darker floors go lighter on, on top furniture. Darker floor... Uh, yeah, like, I feel like if you have lighter floors, you could go darker on furniture or you can go light. It depends on you. But if you have uh, darker floors, you definitely want to go lighter on furniture. Not to say, I mean, I can't tell you what to do. I'm just talking about how I open up spaces and how I am able to lighten up my vibe. I think I'm still going to go white. Oh, now I like this. I don't think this is white. I think this is gray, but baby. This is giving luxury. <laughs> does this come in white, honey? It comes in dark gray. Like, oh, it does come in white. Shut up. Shut the front door. I think I found my furnitures. I mean, my um, comforter set. It comes in white, but it also comes in gray. But I am feeling that light gray because I feel like that hue of gray is just i don't think y'all can see that hue of gray is just it's giving so i can go gray or i can go white hmm. i got pink but i i'm not the pink girl dark gray looks nice but i just don't want to go gray the pink is more of a mauve actually so it's not too bad i just don't want i don't think i want pink even though i have a mauve uh little circular um thing i still want mm, i'm gonna go like probably that mauve pink will go good with like a gold or a rose gold tint however i think i'm still gonna go white for the cleanness of it white or the light gray um i think i may order another box spring too because be when i used to think that i was gonna be moving out of the state and i got rid of all my furniture i ended up having a bohemian theme in my room i ended up having to do everything over so i just had a mattress that was it and i put my mattress and i had my room like decor 
bohemian and you know like a boho style is basically like low to the floor minimalist like that type of vibe so i never got another bed and i never got another box spring or anything like that but periodically i will let the lift the bed all the way up and then i will sweep them up underneath the bed but i have a rug under it but yeah so i i don't know i was thinking about there is a there is a bed frame that looks like this set of sheets and i'm like huh it's interesting because i like it now i do need to look at reviews to see what people i really do like that it's simple it's simplicity in it lightweight and fluffy inner feel let me see if they're yeah i'm caught between the light gray because that light gray gives off more of a velvety color um white gives off just white but that gray gives off that velvet like look which i really like because that adds to like a luxury look for me but i think i may go white but that gray brings out different grays in the house so let me see I even have a gray, um, like, stool. I think, uh, I'm trying to think. I'm going to put that dresser in the closet, so that means that my room will be more so, like, whites and creams and golds. Sorry, my phone's on the charger. I'm trying to get everything ordered today if I can just so that delivery could happen within the next couple of days because I feel like if I'm in a mood to do something I have to do it right then and there otherwise I don't know what I'll be feeling like on another day I try to do it based on how I'm feeling now free delivery for Thursday okay so now I'm caught between I don't think I'm gonna go dark gray I think I'm gonna go white because the shelves are going to be white in the room. So if the comforter. My comforter now is white. But. Okay yeah y'all. So I feel like if I bring the whitewash gray into the picture. It can help with uh, a little slight. Okay y'all as I was stating. I feel like if I bring the white into the picture. Um, I mean the gray into the picture. It could give just a hint of a contrast. So if I have everything already white in the room that can give me a little contrast but then again i feel like if i have every like my base stuff my base stuff white then that would also help with um accents you know like i can have a gray accent like a gray stool because this kind of looks like i have a dark gray uh stool that i keep in the bathroom and I feel like if I did this comforter, that would complement it nicely. I can either bring the gray out or I can keep the gray in there. But then I have light gray stools that match this too. So difficult. For right now, I think, let me look at the white one over the gray one again. Let me look at the gray one and see if there's reviews on how it looks. I'm trying to snag these deals because there's like, oh, they have a free two hour delivery. What did they say? Oh, fresh. I'm going to try that because I be seeing, is it Hello Fresh? Okay, so I'm looking at people's, um, let me see what people's reviews of this images were because, you know, they can really make a video look real nice. And then the minute you start looking at reviews, you're like, okay, that looks hella cheap like I don't want to see the video that you guys uploaded I want to see the videos of the people who purchased it somebody five started but they only said soft okay it, the material's soft but can we please get some videos some pictures does it look cheap does it not See, somebody's review said not what the picture stated. Very, very thin and wrinkled. Not fluffy at all. And I couldn't return it because my daughter needed a comforter. So that's a no. We're moving on from that set altogether. Go. Hold on, because he's going to go send a timeout. Go.
You know better, Brick. Get over here. Nope. Sit. And don't you move. We will not be going over this today. No. Not today. Mm -mm. Nope. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I've asked you several times to do what you're supposed to do. I don't want to hear it. You're putting yourself there, Bricks. You're putting yourself in timeout every time you do what you're not supposed to do. So, I really don't want to hear it. Yeah, I hate putting him in timeout, but he's going to have to learn. My boo boo going to have to learn. I'm not the one or the two. Okay, y'all, so I'm almost feeling like, like, do I want to gamble on a comforter off of Amazon or do I want to just go back to my original, which was going to be finding one in the store. I mean, I feel like if I get one, if I snag one off of Amazon, it's going to have to literally be because, see, like, every time I review somebody's, it's, like, so janky. It does not look like what they advertise. It does not look like what they advertise at all. That's why I feel like, at least when I go into, like, Marshalls, Ross, all those places, I can feel the texture. Like, I could feel it with my bare hands being there. Yeah, because people are doing reviews, and I'm, like, secondhand embarrassed for these people. Mm -mm, I'm going to stop looking on Amazon for comforters, and I'm going to go back to what I was doing before, which was... Hold on, this might not be a bad comforter for the summer. It says it's very lightweight. No, okay, one star... Terrible stitching. Okay, yeah, no, not my vibes. Let's move off of comforters. Okay, so I got my cart full of the shelves. So it said it was 31 inches. So I'm just gonna take this tape measure here. Hold on. I need to know what that wall measures out. I'm gonna see what this wall measures out uh, horizontally because this is where I'm planning to put the shelf to make sure that it will fit. I think it will fit. It's just how much room will I have left over which I probably would just add like a plant or add, you know, my my fashion mannequin right there up here. So let's see, it says 31 inches. Let's see, I'm just gonna measure from the door to here. Yep, so we're gonna have some additional inches. Yeah, I don't wanna, um, yeah, hold on. I don't think I can measure it all the way out there. Hold on. Okay, I feel like this wall just might be right around 45 inches, which means if it's 31, I'll have some room to the side. This wall that I'm referring to kind of like it goes into a two slant, as you guys can see. So I'm thinking of only doing this wall. Because I need to be able to walk past. I'm tired of like the, you know, the cluttered. Now what I might do on top of those shoe shelves, I may, and I'm, I'm over there organizing my, like my purses and my shelf over there. But I might end up adding those on top of this. I don't, I have absolutely no idea. So what I'm about to do right now is this corner here. I'm going to move this uh, shelf or this uh, dresser and like I said that's the mirror that goes with it but I'm gonna move this dresser again it might even go into the closet I don't know um, and then I think I'm gonna put this chair that always hangs out here in the room put a mirror I don't know y'all I'm literally having a difficult time figuring this out because at the same time, I could, if I move this, hold on. At the same time, if I end up moving my dresser, I could put those stackable walls, I mean stackable shelf there, where I was talking about putting my shoes. 
that would actually probably fill out the space better but i felt like if i put it here it would take away the clutteredness for when you first walk in i feel like when you first walk into my bedroom the first thing you're going to see is a whole shelf of shoes that could be okay but is that what i want or do i want there to be a corner with a mirror and some seating because i feel like if i do that then i can use that area for filming which makes more sense because when i do try on hauls and stuff like that i'm always trying to get somewhere in the house just to film but if i can create that to be my filming station for like try on hauls and stuff like that and have the comfortability to sit that would be better because i don't have to do the most so for right now i think i'm gonna slide this dresser into the bathroom because if i have to put all those shoes on that shoe shelf i'd rather just put the dresser in the closet when the shoes come instead of me trying to take all the shoes out now and put them on the dresser i mean and put them just like scatter them in the room i might as well make it make sense so So I'm going to take some time to do that really quickly. Um, sheesh. So, yeah. This is a lot. I got a lot going on, y'all. I just cannot, like, I get, I told you guys, I get so, like, stressed out. When I see the space look like this, like I'm just like, sis, you gotta do something. Cause I'm about to scream, I'm about to scream if I can't get this together. So yeah, I'm just gonna slide this whole unit into the bathroom. Let me sit y'all on the camera. I mean, let me sit y'all on the dresser. Out and then I can put this in the closet and I can use this space for like shoe shell. I mean like um like to put my you know some closet stuff in there. Like we'll I'll show y'all a little and I'll show y'all probably in tomorrow's vlog because I don't think I'm gonna put this in there yet. Or I might just to go ahead. Hold on, let me look. Mm, it would be nice to go ahead and put that in the closet today. That way that's less furniture to move by tomorrow. But I don't know, that's gonna be too much. So let me just slide this. For now, let me just slide this into the bathroom. Then we can figure that out. The more I think about it, hold on. The more I think about it, this might not be so bad to put that shelf right there. Um, but then again, I'm just like, if I can put some seating right here, that's how you know bricks do too much. How his little food pebble get underneath my dresser because he's sneaking snacks. Um, where is the broom? I could have swore I had the broom in here. Oh, girl, I'm standing right next to it. Okay, so look. Let me sweep out this corner. I'm gonna mop. I'm gonna sweep it, up, sweep it out and also mop. I'm just getting this stuff out of the way real quick. Right? Okay. So now I'm thinking about it. I was organizing my, um, putting all my self-care products in here and stuff like that um it's not complete but that's what i was doing earlier but now that i look at it it's like okay the side of my bed here i could literally put that shoe shelf all the way up the wall that way if i wanted to 
um, it would be nice to be able to have that entire wall. It would be nice to have this entire wall covered in those shoe shelf racks I'm talking about. But it'll be either there or it'll be here that it's going to get built up on. I'm not going to hold you. I love the open openness of that corner over there. But then again, I feel like if I put all my shoes there too, that might not be a bad place to film. Um, because if the shoe rack goes all the way up right there, that could be just like my wall shelf background for my filming. But then again, this chair like always just chills out and it really doesn't have a home, the chair. So I'm debating, do I want to put that in the corner over there? Do I want to put my desk over there, my desktop? I just don't want it to be cluttered. It's my biggest issue. So yeah, let me go ahead and try to, I guess I need to figure out, am I gonna leave that wall open for that? If I leave that wall for that shoe shelf, baby. That's gonna be another situation because I feel like I could probably put like seven or eight of those shoe racks up there, which would be perfect because I have so many shoes and that's all I keep saying. I wanted that to get built for me. Um, I wanted my shoe shelf to get built for me, but you know, busy, 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 huh? Um, I guess if I built the shoe shelf there too, I could technically keep my desk and stuff here. I feel like whichever wall I dedicate to the shoe shelf, um, the other wall needs to be dedicated to desk. So I guess I need to take the time to figure that out because that's going to be something. But I need to eat real quick because I'm hungry and I'm starting to feel a little faint. So let me go ahead and eat and I'll talk to you in a little bit. Oh, that's so refreshing. Oh my gosh, y'all. I know y'all are like, what? I told you guys I had to get my um, purge bout line like replaced in my car and baby when I tell y'all when I would crank my car up it would sound like garbage because like it literally was shut off because it needed to be repaired and I got it fixed and it just felt so good sync has connected your it, phone and is reminding on. you that 911 assist is set to off it just felt so good just now to crank my car up <laughs> with no issues <laughs> I don't know about y'all but that felt really good um, I think I might go shoot pool tonight just to get out and kind of just clear my mind um, Since I'm already out of the house I think that's what I'm gonna do go get a few games in, have a few drinks um, I'm headed to Ross right now. I Oh my god, I'm birth, but I'm headed to Ross right now just to see if they got some things like household i'm gonna look at their comforter sets even though i normally don't go for that and then i'm also thinking that i forgot to put on deodorant i don't know though i think i did though because i had took a shower earlier and i just been lounging so i'm like did i put on deodorant but it feels like i didn't but i'm not about to under my arms i don't smell or anything but it's definitely giving a lack of deodorant so um, let me back in um, yeah, it's giving like deodorant, lack of deodorant. Um, but yeah, y'all, so this, this, so basically I'm about to go in here. I'm going to see what Ross basically has as far as household supplies. And then I'm also going to find out, uh, if there's any, like, um, just, I'm going to go in the, the women's section as well. I need to pick up some deodorant, but I guess I'll talk to y'all. Once I get back in the car, I'm not going to vlog on the inside, so I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. So, Ugh. Okay, so what's up, babes? It's Curly to Victoria. I'm back with yet another video. If you're new here, hi, welcome to the channel. If you have already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So in this video, I'm actually preparing for my Amazon order to come in today. So I filmed a video yesterday, and I didn't even upload. So I'm debating if I want to do, like, part one, part two vlog. I might um, just like a two day vlog um, and put yesterday's vlogging in. So yesterday I recorded um, or I ordered these shelves that I was telling you guys that I was going to get off of Amazon. I actually purchased them. So 
I literally was shooting pool and was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. can you hold on real quick on my shot? Cause I need to, um, I need to order this Amazon order. And the guy was like, I was like, I'm sorry, but I need to order this order. <laughs> so I had to order it. Um, so basically it said that I was supposed to be getting it today by 10 o'clock PM. I'm hoping that that just like, is just like a time, but I'm hoping that it changes to like early in the day. Cause I need to build those shelves now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide which wall as you guys, if you guys watch the early part of this vlog, because now I'm actually deciding that I will incorporate yesterday's part of the vlog. If I incorporate, uh, hold on. Oh, get your food, boo-boo. Let me see. April 18th. So one thing is not yet to sh uh, have been shipped out yet. Let me check my other order. Does it tell me my other stuff? Mm, I'm feeling real slighted right now because where is my other order? Let's see if the other one pops up. It said it was supposed to get here today. I don't need no get there tomorrow. Okay, it said delivery should be by 10 p.m. tonight. So I got an appointment tomorrow at the dealership to fix something minute. Or my car, let's see. They better send me the white ones because I don't have, I thought I only seen white as the color. I'm seeing somebody saying something about a different color. Mm -mm. They didn't got nothing to do with me because I elected white. Please don't send me the black ones because the espresso ones, because that does not go with my aesthetics. Espresso, I mean, espresso is dark, but it's not black, so. Well, maybe, I don't know if they consider that to be. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry, so I got caught up. But anyway, my order is supposed to come. Let me see. When am I, is my order? It's supposed to come today, but I was just trying to figure out, is it going to come? Like, does the tracking show that it gets here earlier than 10? Because I don't want no package at 10 p.m., honestly. Mm-mm. Wait a minute. Something's off. Sorry, y'all. This is really day in the life. I'm trying to get my ish together. So y'all know I'm big on like, yeah. I, I get to a place where I feel like, and I talk about this all the time. If my space is not cleared or clean, I just start to get very stressed out. So um, it just affects me. Oh, I hope this doesn't happen to me. I'm seeing these shelves are being broken easily by people but then again they're almost five rated five stars so let me see that could just be that one person yeah every, everybody else is saying easy to assemble love it five star five star five star it's only a couple people who are probably not that savvy yeah people are using this as a laptop stand but they're definitely for shoes too so i guess it's however you want to use it I think if I have an extra one that I will do that for my desktop or my laptop. Um, but as of right now, I think I'm going to definitely focus on the storage space for shoes. Yeah, because I think that's the closest I'm going to get to. I thought about ordering a garment rack. Storage is the biggest thing for me, y'all, so I need to get my storage. I'm trying to see if I wanted to order like a room, like a mini nightstand or something. I do have something that can act as a nightstand, but, uh, or maybe just like order a chest because I need more um, space, like for my clothing. I think that takes up a good amount of stuff. So 
in order to get it looking neat and stuff like that. I have to do that for my space. Let me light a candle or two or three. Set the vibes. I was thinking about doing my hair today, y'all, doing a video for my hair, but I don't know. I do need to get content out there, y'all. We are currently working to hit 1K subs by the end of the summer. I know that could seem like a, a lot in a sense because that is in two to three months based on my algorithms, but I have faith, okay? I have faith. So tell your little friends. Let me stop saying little because I say little to everything, y'all. Tell your friends, your family, your every everybody to follow your girl. Subscribe. I talk about everything. Beauty, fashion, business, lifestyle, entrepreneurship, real estate, luxury. You name it, we talk about it. Or we can talk about it if we're not talking about it. Period. So, I um ended up... I have some candle snuffers coming in that I ordered two gold ones. I was going to do the black matte ones, but I ordered the gold ones because my, my lighters are normally black. And then my... um. I think the gold would be better because not only does it fit my aesthetic like themes and stuff, but it also will, it's more visual. It's more, if I'm looking for my candle snuffer, I'm going to be able to point it out real quick because it's gold, opposed to it blending in with my black pieces of furniture. So I bought a few of those because um, your girl had got to a place where we would just be blowing excuse me, blowing out candles like whew. and one time that candle that that um fire flamed back and baby I was like whew. so I was like I gotta get some candle snuffers gotta get cut because I feel like if you're a candle candler like a candle person you have got to have snuffers because you're not trying to get snuffed by the razzle dazzle that comes about so I lit my candles trying to think my bathroom I feel like I keep cleaning my bathroom I mean I don't think you can ever over clean the bathroom lately I think changing my shower head and let me just put anybody who let me just say this okay so before I used to have a shower head that you could take down you could wash your hair with you can take it off the hook and put it back on the hook then I ended up changing the head to just a big round head that shot out really good water but then when I got bricks um, I was washing him under the water sprout. So then I said, I'm going to get another one of those. You know, that's when I discovered that the shower head by water pick does what I needed it to do. So I bought that shower head. And let me just tell you, I couldn't remember until this started happening. But when I cleaned my shower, it brought back all the memories of me being able to actually spray the walls because I could take it off the hook. So I think that's the best thing because I was like, my shower has been looking dingy. I'm trying to clean it. But y'all, the solution really was to get me some sh like strong um, cleaning solution and then use that nozzle and spray the thing. So that's what I did. I'd be spraying the shower. Um, and my shower looks 10 times better. Like I've been washing my sh cleaning my shower almost every other day because I'm trying to get it back to like... I feel like build up over time you can't see it but I can see the stain you know like I can see that my shower doesn't look extremely white it looks white but not extremely so I just got back on to the spray my shower down every other day and scrub until it gets back to how I want it to be which is almost there but I just wanted to point that out if you feel like your shower is white and it's not getting back clean think about changing your shower head to one of the ones that you can take off with the cord so you can spray down what you just scrubbed instead of letting it just spray roll down the shower and just stay there and become like another hard stain so that's what i would say if you're trying to get your shower top tier sis um another thing i was gonna say was yeah i'm gonna be recleaning my bathroom again today i don't think you can reclean it i would just say i'm maintaining wiping down um because it really doesn't need to be clean so i spent last night or the earlier part of the night actually going through let me come in here. I went through some of my um, hold on. some of my stuff and I started sectioning. I started uh, sectioning off some stuff in here. So I'm going to flip this and just show y'all. So I just started sectioning off. So this is like my extra toothpastes and stuff. This is hair care that I currently have that's feminine care. And this is all like self-care, facial care, um, deodorant, um, like actually the deodorant yeah i'm gonna put i'm trying to see if i want to keep that spray deodorant in there or put it in here with the feminine stuff i think i'll put it over here 
and then all of this is just like foot scrub body butters uh face mask uh travel packs cotton pads scrub brush anything to do with my face care my self care and this like i said anything health i got my capsules and stuff like that deodorant all that then this is my current and active oils and um this is what i'm gonna be and then like i said two paces and mouthwash this is what i'm about to be trying to retwist my hair with soon it's pure snail um clearly this pure snail which is a snail excrete the excretion or the secretion of like snails actual live snails they have basically um preserved things and they created this like i guess it's good for your skin and it's like from korea or J japan or something like that so i guess they might use snail for like remedy um on skin and this is like preserved so i'm gonna do it in my hair um and then this is the aloe vera and i do the same thing aloe vera could be used on the skin but i use it in my hair so i've never used the snail which i didn't intend to buy that it was sold in a yeah it was sold as a two-pack and i said well i guess your girl is about to be trying to see what snail is like in her hair um so i'm gonna be trying that out i'm definitely gonna be trying that out i'm about to take me a few airborne hold on yeah, I'm about to take me a few Airborns for my immunity real quick for the day. These gummies are so good, but they're really for your immunity. You could take three in a day. I'm going to just take two for now. Um, I need to open the blinds, get a little bit of light in here. My room doesn't really look a mess. It really doesn't. It's just stuff is everywhere. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be taking some stuff to the Goodwill, et cetera, et cetera. I feel disgusting. Like, you know when you go outside and you're in the heat and you just feel disgusting? That's what it is. And it's now, and it's like now I take, now that I have a dog again, I have to take Mr. Bricks out. I don't like being sweaty and nasty like I just don't but I do I've been taking them out but I can't stand it I feel like every time I get nasty and sweaty I have to go take a shower I'm about to go take a shower now like I just can't do it I feel disgusting it's so hot and I know I have on a hoodie today but I'm just saying in general this is I feel disgusting so oh I almost fell so y'all I'm trying to figure out right now if I'm about to, um, I gotta wash all my neutral colors before I get in the shower. I brought some more cream brulee. I had to for my protein shakes and my coffee because your girl got some work to get done, some branding and strategizing to do. Um, so that's it. I'm actually super impressed. I feel like I need to make a green smoothie today. I have hella spinach. I think I might have a green smoothie for lunch. Like a, all I had was a hash brown today. I really haven't even had lunch and a coffee, which my coffee is my, a hash brown or coffee that is my like lunch, but or breakfast. But um, I'm drinking the rest of this from the other day. This is my kombucha, the multi-green. I had a little bit left over, so I'm gonna, finish that y'all know kombucha has like probiotic effect so I was finishing that so that's done got me some greens in there um I do want to work out but I just don't feel like um honestly this isn't an ex this isn't an excuse what I'm about to say but it's the truth okay I don't know about y'all but when your girl works out like I was thinking about doing a bike session real quick getting on the bike and like uh, working out on the bike when my legs and stuff start getting sore it makes it hard for me to do what else I'm supposed to do so like if I start working out and then my body starts to get really sore and I'm trying to bend over to clean this and clean that it's gonna make it really hard because your girl body is sore and then I'm not gonna clean up so I rather clean up do what I need to do, gather my stuff for giveaway, 
and then come back and um work out or something whenever that's done that might not be done today that means the workout won't get done today but i am going to get a, a good amount of things done today i just don't know what time that shipment is coming like i'm viewing the order and i know it says by 10 but where can i let me see if i could track this shipment to see dang they didn't even ship it how you gonna tell me it's gonna arrive <gasps> today is the 12th it's saying tuesday the 19th i don't want this i'm about to call amazon and cancel the order give me my money back i thought this was coming today oh my gosh i'm about to cancel the order i don't know how long it takes for them to give me my money i don't know why i thought they meant like tomorrow like yesterday i thought they meant today let me look y'all I feel some type of way. I feel played. I feel really played. Because didn't they show me like. Yeah I'm about to cancel this order. I'm highly upset. Because I'm thinking they're saying as in tomorrow. Even my uh, candle snuffers are next week. I don't want nothing that's going to take that long. I mean, granted, it can come earlier than Tuesday, but I want it now because I want to be able to build it so I can clean how I want to clean. Y'all, let me figure this out real quick. I guess I'll tell y'all in a little bit. I'm going to check back in. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to end the vlog so that I can go ahead and get some storage uh, cleared up on my SD cards and um, I'm gonna start working on editing this video so make sure you guys like comment share subscribe today is gonna just basically continue with me cleaning and preparing the space so that I can build those shelves when they come in um, I did speak to Amazon about I just got out of the shower I know it seems like I keep changing clothes so much but I just got out the shower from doing my hair and I'm actually about to or washing my hair and I'm actually about to make a video However, I spoke to Amazon and noticed that my shipping is for next Tuesday, not Tuesday and then tomorrow. And I'm like, if I got Prime and it's supposed to come tomorrow, then why am I waiting until next week, Tuesday? So they ended up rushing my shipping. It should get here tomorrow. So maybe I'll do a little, like, let you guys see me build the shelves. Or maybe I'll just put them together and then show you. I don't know yet. But that's going to be, hopefully, tomorrow or Thursday's project, depending on what time it gets in. Because they did say... I can't deal with these wasps building these nests. He's like, jeez, oh. I'm over it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead, or hives, I always say nests, but hives, there's like wasps.